Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers. And today I'm going into the workshop to find some more amazing, creative, or weird, or strange builds. And we're starting off with this guy right here. And this is by AIO or AI0000. So I don't know if this is a walker, flyer, whatever. It does, there's no description whatsoever. So let's push buttons and see what happens. I'll start with WASD. Okay, it walks. It walks very, very well. I'm loving the foot design there with like it has that extra like stability toe on the side, I guess. Seems to be very effective. All right, how is turning? I'm turning to the left right now. How it wait, is it actually Oh, that is what? That is awesome. That is actually really awesome. And it does that while I walk the turn as well. It's not, it doesn't turn quite as fast when you're walking, but you can see it is definitely working. That is amazing. All right, what about backwards? Is it just as effective backwards? Of course it is. Okay, I don't know what space is gonna do. Okay, space is the cannons. Oh, that is awesome. The cannons are programmed to have like a alternating firing effect. All right, then we have left shift and left control. Left shift. Oh, okay, we can just aim up and down. <laughs> but can we, can we blow ourselves up? <laughs> Well, there goes our leg. Ooh. Uh, I, I think we may be out of commission, but I think I can still blow myself up a little bit more if I time this right. And... Oh, wait, no. I can't. My cannons are disabled. I guess there must be a logic gate that must no longer be intact. Well, as far as a mech, like, walker goes, this thing is actually really, really awesome. And I love how you can just blow your own leg off, too. All right, moving on, we have an interesting model creation. This is apparently a Glock 18C full auto and semi-auto. This is a replica by Actus. Well, first of all, it just, it looks legit. It looks really, really good. Space for full auto. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is awesome. He has thrusters in there. So when you fire, there's actually some like muzzle smoke coming off. That is pretty clever. All right, and then apparently Q is for semi-auto. That is awesome. And that is pretty much all the controls this thing has. And you can see the trigger go back. Oh, that's cool. So there's actually a difference between full auto and auto when it comes to how the trigger behaves. Even though I'm just holding the button down, when I hold full auto down, the trigger stays back because it's just opening up in a full auto. And then for semi-auto, even though I hold Q down, you can see the trigger is pulled for each individual shot, which is what would happen for semi-automatic uh, fire. Yeah, this is a really, really cleverly designed weapon. And uh, I also like how the, only the full auto doesn't actually cause some muzzle muzzle uh, smoke. So I'm actually going to leave that there. Maybe another creation that we spawn in, we can just put in front of it and shoot and see what happens. This looks like an appropriate one. This is an infantry exosuit. He says it's built cheap for mass production. It'll keep you safe and give you some mobility, but it isn't too easy to control, and the ability to aim has been sacrificed for a lower level of technical complexity. This is by Mr. Fezzington. All right, let's see what this thing does. We're gonna push buttons and, uh, okay. So it, it doesn't seem to walk. Oh, what? What? I don't understand. Uh, is this just a flying mech suit? All right, I'm gonna keep her. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, oh, I almost, almost blew myself up. All right, we got some shoulder lights because, you know, just in case. Wait, do those shoulder lights then rotate up? Oh, yeah, they do. What does number one do? Oh, that's kind of cool. One makes him look a lot cooler. All right, well, let's go ahead and press space. I thought space was gonna make us fly. Oh, oh, left shift. Oh, oh, I got it now. I got it now. Oh, look at that. This is cool. I love the fire coming out of the uh, the feet as well. Oh, that looks awesome, doesn't it? Oh boy, if we're like we're pretty much like Iron Man, but like budget Iron Man. <laughs> Okay, now the real test is gonna be if I can actually land this thing. All right, this actually might not be as hard as I thought. If I just time my thrust right. Oh boy, go, 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 slow down, slow down. Come on. And look at that. We actually landed. All right, I'm gonna try to fly over to the gun. We'll put this guy in front of the, uh, in front of the Glock and see if we can do any damage. 
All right, you just stay there, Mr. Mech Suit. And we're just gonna go full auto. Oh, oh. Well, we took his leg off. These mechs are very prone to losing just singular legs. All right, let's move on to another creation. Okay, up next, uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is gonna be about. Uh, this is banana. It says, this is bananas. Doesn't have to work great, just has to work, right? This is by Queso the Cabra. So let's, let's see what the banana does. <laughs> oh, what? It is so good. Is this gonna transform into a car? No way. What? This thing's kind of awesome, actually. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea how that transformation even works. How is he fitting all this stuff in there? This is crazy. It's like it disappears. There's definitely some glitchiness going on in this thing, but it is a banana car. It, it actually works and it looks amazing. Look at this. It definitely does not work great, especially the turning. <laughs> But it automatically writes itself with the gimbal jet. So what more can you ask for? And it goes automatically. I'm not doing that. It's just... Oh, he lost his mustache. He looks so much younger now. All the difference a mustache can make. Okay, Mr. Banana, I'm just gonna ask you to lay down right there. Yeah, you just stay there, okay? Don't move. Don't... Yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm just... just this is this is for your own good. All right, let's see if that helps. Look at that. He's a motorcycle banana now. <laughs> It actually, it's not really any worse. It's really not any worse. Okay, we're just gonna leave him there. We're gonna, we're gonna move on now. All right, up next we have a boxer by Matthew Marchluski. We're just gonna push buttons and see what happens. All right, here we go. W A S D. Okay, so he moves around, standard controls, and it looks like left and right arrow is probably gonna be the boxing. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a little bit. Gl you know what? I think we're gonna have to despawn the other stuff. I think the complexity is getting a little bit too, uh, too taxing on the game. So let's see if he works any better now. Oh yeah, much better, much better. <laughs> I feel like I'm a workout bot, just doing like lunges. <laughs> All right, well, the reasonable thing to do is uh, spawn another one of these and let's go ahead and start punching and see what happens. Excuse me, mister. I'm gonna have to ask you to uh, back up. Can you just back up a little, back? Can, can you just, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right. No, we could do this. It's gonna get a little bit closer. There we go. This, this, is this close enough? Is this awkward enough for you? <gasps> okay, and there goes my arm. There, there goes my entire arm. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch sides now. I'm gonna go over to this guy and... One of these is clearly stronger. All right, let's have one more rematch. See if this guy can redeem himself. This time he's gonna do a driving punch. We're gonna drive and punch at the same time. Ugh. That was a little bit pathetic, but we did take his arm off. <laughs> come on, come on, you can do it. Ooh, ooh, that actually kind of worked. Hey, there we go, redemption story. All right, congratulations. You are no longer a complete loser. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna move on now. All right, up next, uh, this, it, it's a unique idea of walking castle. This is a large moving fortress fit for a king and his brave knights. Apparently we have to balance it ourselves by leaning forward and back. Okay. A and D moves, moves each leg. There's a rhythm that is, it's not pre-programmed. Well, this is going to be a very interesting creation to try. What? What? This is kind of crazy. I think these legs are actually on free floating, like, free floating joints and it's just thrusters that actually make them swing out like that look at that this is actually kind of insane how that works That's kind of an amazing, I've never seen a walker like that. It literally has free floating joints and it just moves the joints with thrust. All right, well, let's see if we can control these turrets. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, they look like crossbows too. Awesome design there. Look at that. Well, wait, what about turning? Okay, we can turn like that. That's actually intuitive. That's really intuitive. All right, let's see if we can aim at the, uh, the remains of the boxer bot. And come on, there we go. Ooh, what went up in the air? 
Oh, the indestructible seat. That makes sense. Well, I thought this the idea in general was unique, but not only was the idea unique, but the walking mechanism itself was also unique. So really, really good on that one. I think, I don't know if I can actually blow myself up with this. This is as low as I can aim on myself. And then we're going to have to take this to some extremes here if we're going to blow ourselves up. Yes, yes, there it is. And... You know what? He survived, though. He actually survived. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? It's not, not as easy as you might think to make a creation that I can't figure out how to blow myself up in, so... It'll happen eventually. Okay, up next, we're gonna be looking at Treehouse for Sale. Apparently it has a dining area, a cooking area, and a viewing deck. A really unique creation idea. This is by That Dom Guy. Okay, check this out. What happens if I get inside? We don't have any controls. All right, it's just it's just a static build and now I'm stuck inside of it. Oh no, <laughs> how do I get out? Oh, here we go, here we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get up onto the treehouse. I guess we'll go into first person. It's probably the best. I love the wood texture looks really, really awesome on this considering it's a tree. All right, so we're on our first level here. Oh, it looks like we got a grill. This must be the cooking area. Man, this field of view is really disorienting. This must be the eating area. We got a table and oh, lights in the leaves. And is that, wait, wasn't there supposed to be like a viewing deck or something? Oh, the bottom one must be the viewing deck. Okay, man, check this thing out. This thing is so cool. This is a really clever idea. My question is, how, how are people supposed to get up though? I don't see any type of lift mechanism to actually get up onto this thing. I guess you have to learn how to climb trees. And actually, I really like how these roots look. The roots look really, really nice. All right, pretty simple in execution, but beautiful to look at and really, really well done. Okay, up next, we got this thing. I don't know what it's going to do. It says game destroyer, so I can only assume it's going to destroy my game, which is why I'm saving this for last. And this is by Ethan0829. So I don't know if this is somehow a glitchy creation. I just, I really have no idea what this is. And why does he call it game destroyer? Okay, is it just a bunch of cannons? Is it, is it just a bunch of cannons? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and aim this at the tree and hope that my game survives. Here we go. Okay, I got a little bit of frame drops, but my game is still alive. This is actually a pretty cool creation. Look at this, this is so much destruction. This is a little loud too. This is satisfying. I, and of course, I'm gonna be able to destroy myself with this thing. Yep, there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually kind of happy it didn't destroy the game, but it is definitely a destroyer. It's more of a creation destroyer. So which of these creations was your favorite in this episode? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see more awesome workshop content, then you're going to want to check out this playlist right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.